be planning on matching the shape of the front end as much as possible with as few bends as possible. And how I'm gonna do that is actually use the tube roller to take up the majority of the shape. So all the way side to side, I'm gonna bend or roll one full length of tube for both the upper and the lower. And then I'll basically only be putting a bend here and then a bend here to kick back. I'm also going to be matching the angle of the headlight here where the 350Z is pretty much parallel to the ground. This one has more of an aggressive angle. So this upper bar, I'm not sure about the height placement yet, but it's pretty much gonna match that downward slope of the headlight and come across the front and back up. And one thing uh, that I'll have to keep in mind is when I'm measuring out this length, I'm gonna have a bend somewhere in this area here. So from about this area here back, I need at least a long enough leg that I can put it through the tube bender. So a foot will be more than enough to compensate for being able to clamp on one end and have it roll through the die without it falling off or anything like that. So when I'm pacing it out outside of the bumper shape like that, gives me a little bit of extra leeway too. So in addition to the foot or so that I'm adding to either side being kind of a larger radius than the bumper itself kind of gives for a little bit of extra material to, to trim off at the end as well. As you can see, my tube roller had a bit of a twist to it. I'm still trying to get that part dialed in. It doesn't seem to always happen, but it seems to happen when I go a little bit too aggressive. So if, whenever I ease into a bend, maybe start in the middle out and kind of just work it slow, it doesn't twist like, like this anyways. It doesn't twist nearly as bad. Let's see if I can't get that straightened out before moving on. All right, so <clears throat> today is technically day two, kind of half day. Yesterday, I really put a whole lot of time in it. Uh, at least I started late. I ended about one o'clock last night, got to a pretty good stopping point. And I got a little bit of dirty work to do. I got some plates to cut, and I don't have a fancy way to cut it. I don't have a plasma cutter or anything like that. So I'm gonna have to just crack out the, the, the grinder and a cutting disc and go to town so I pulled the car out got the upper tube of the bash bar all situated at least bent and, and done for the most part now it's gonna be time for uh, basically making all the mounting points I'm gonna probably do the lower bar next got a little bit of work to do on that to, to get it to shape as well but it's kind of where we're at at this point
All right. I'm pretty happy with the way it's all coming out so far. It's fitting fantastic. Nice tight clearances around factory uh, bumper brackets, so nothing's gonna have to be permanently removed. Um, so now it's a matter of just getting it fixed. I think this is pretty much the final position, the final height, the whole nine. I might come up in the middle here just a little bit, but I think this is pretty much where it's gonna be. So from now, uh, I can cut and, and do the mounting plates and then mount the upper tube here. Once this upper tube's done, then I can go ahead and uh, start fixing the lower tube. These jack stands won't be in the way, so I can kind of get a little bit more accurate uh, front to back. And like, with the jack stands in the way, it's, it's not exactly sitting where it needs to. So a uh, natural next step is gonna be just to permanently mount uh, this upper bar, at least get all the tubes cut and tacked on and, and go from there. So let's get it rolling. All right, so it's kind of a tight fit in here with the uh, the mounting plate the way it is. So uh, normally I'd go right in the center of that tube at an angle, pretty much call it done. I think I'm still gonna go center of the tube or center of the bolts rather. Uh, it just makes the most sense. Uh, but in this case, I'm gonna have to make sure that it enters straight square into this plate. So that means I'm gonna need to basically put a slight bend right here. So I'm gonna have to figure out what that bend is and then cope it straight into the tube here. So whatever plane this is on here is where it's gonna meet the tube, but I need to start with a little bent piece right here. So that's what I'm gonna get going on and carry on from there. Almost ready to mount the, uh, the upper tube. Both plates are cut and mounted and ready to roll. All right, at this point, the top tube is pretty much set and gotta try to figure out what I'm gonna do with the bottom tube as far as placement front to back, the aesthetic of it. Uh, and then once I have it set front to back, I kind of finish how I'm gonna tie in uh, this, the final bend on the side here. Uh, and then we can start working on some of the drop tubes and stuff like that that are gonna uh, mount the two together. So I guess the next step after it being all tacked into place now is basically gonna drop down some uh, plumb bobs. Basically, I'm gonna do a pretty simple uh, setup just with some fishing line and some uh, washers most likely, and do a couple throughout here to make sure that it's set in, you know, as square as it can. Um, uh, this bottom tube's all flattened out now, which is perfect. So uh, the catch now, I'm starting to run out of tubes. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get anything uh, being a Saturday, kind of a small town. There's not a whole lot of options for um, tube supplies and stuff like that in this area. All right, so the bottom tubes all uh, bent to shape. Looks pretty good where it's sitting. I think it's as perfect as anything can be. Nothing's exactly perfect, but this is definitely looking really good. So I'm at a dilemma. I'm starting to run out of tubing. I didn't quite get enough and it's Saturday and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get any more tubing uh, before the day is out. We're gonna have to find out. But I think I have just enough to get everything done. I've got one shot and no mistakes and that's really been the case the whole time. No mistakes on any of the bends had to be right the first time. So. Um, I've got a section that was cut off of one of the top tubes, I think. And this is pretty much what's gonna start my uh, attachment points to the lower tube. So I'm gonna go ahead and, I think I'm just gonna cut a straight cope into this one and join it to this uh, bracket tube straight off of here. I don't think I'm gonna come all the way out here. I think I will tie in just square to that tube right there. And then that will be the first part of me deciding where 
this ties in here. I think this tube's gonna end up being a little bit shorter. So hopefully that's the case because then I'll have exactly the right amount of tubing to get this done. All right, so I kind of jumped ahead, went ahead and did the, uh, the tube fitting for all of the vertical bars that, that hold the lower uh, tube and section here. Uh, it's kind of another one of those things I just uh, got in the groove, worked through it. I didn't really take a whole lot of time to, to record a lot of stuff. Uh, besides, at this point, if I recorded everything, this video would be extremely boring. So now I'm at the point that everything's just mocked up, sitting in place, and it's ready to be uh, tacked and then welded. But before I do that, I wanna clean up all the mill scale 